All right, guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at recursion in React and specifically a recursive component. Now, I think a really good way to demonstrate this is by using WordPress. Now, before you start thinking, Tom, why are you polluting my delicate mind with the absolute filth that is WordPress? Don't worry, because it is going to be relevant, I promise. So in WordPress with the block editor. I've got an example page here just to show you the data behind this page. So for example, I've already added a set of columns here. And as part of the columns block, we can add a column block. And then within each column block, we can add, for example, a paragraph block, or we could add a image gallery block. Now, within the image gallery block, we can also add images as part of an image gallery. So we have a bunch of nested and unpredictably nested blocks or data. Now, if we take a look at the JSON structure behind this, I've already got it open here. We can see that this is our sort of JSON structure for that page. So we're rendering a core slash columns block. We've got a core slash column block within this columns block. So that's being rendered as inner blocks. We can see we've got a bunch of inner blocks as well for our core slash column block. We've got a core slash gallery block. We've also got inner blocks for the gallery. We've got inner blocks of images. So we can see this is our type of nested structure here and creating a recursive React component to render this data is the most appropriate way. Now I'm going to use Josh tried coding's cool little animate code.com tool that he's recently created. I thought it'd be a really good idea to test his tool out just to demonstrate a recursive component in React. So I'm just going to hit preview here. And this is how we'd code this up in React, creating a recursive component. So we'd create a block renderer component and we pass in the top level blocks to this block renderer, i.e. if we take a look at our JSON structure here, we'd pass in this top level blocks here. So we'd pass these blocks in to our block renderer component and we'd loop over those blocks. And depending on the block's name, we'll render an appropriate component. For example, if in our data we have a core slash columns block, we'll render a columns component. Now, of course, back in our data, our columns block in WordPress can have a bunch of inner blocks. So we'll also need to loop over those inner blocks, which means we can render the block renderer component within itself and pass down the blocks prop, we can pass down the inner blocks of this particular block, i.e. the columns block. We can pass down the inner blocks of the columns block to the block renderer, and then we'll loop through those blocks again. Now, if we go one step further, we could add a, another case into our switch case statement for a core slash column block. And again, we'd render an appropriate component, i.e. a column component, and a column block in WordPress can also have inner blocks, i.e. in our data here, we can see we also have a core slash gallery as an inner block to the core slash column block. So then we'd also render the inner blocks for the column block as well using the block renderer. So it's the same block renderer component. Now again, we then have a, another case in our switch case statement to cater for the core slash gallery block. And again, we'd render an appropriate component, a gallery component. And again, the gallery component is going to, or potentially going to have inner blocks associated with that block, i.e. a bunch of image blocks. So again, we're going to render the block renderer component within itself. And we're going to add another case in our switch case statement to cater for a core slash image block, and then render an appropriate component for the core slash image block. Now, an image block won't have any inner blocks associated with it, so we don't need to render the block renderer component within itself. And I've just realized I've got a syntax issue here. This shouldn't be a normal bracket here. This should be a curly bracket like so. And just like down here, we should be closing off this with a curly bracket. But I hope you get an idea. And I think the WordPress block editor where we can return a JSON representation of a page that renders a bunch of blocks is a really good representation and a really good demonstration or example of we have a bunch of data. We don't know how many levels deep the data is nested, but we need to render that data somehow. So then we'd create a component that renders itself, i.e. a recursive React component.